Hi, I'm Stuart. This is my first YouTube channel uh, video log, uh, video diary, whatever they want to call them. And uh, today's uh, video log will be concerned with uh, the, the layout of my equipment, what I'm using and uh, possible future of how I'm going to get this all together and keep the channel going. Uh, today I'm going to show what I'm using. Uh, I use that in the loosest terms because I'm not fantastic, but uh, it's one of those things, it's a learning exercise. Uh, this entire video is just to try and get my head around all the editing techniques and uh, posting stuff onto YouTube. Uh, so we'll start off with the cameras. I'm going to start off with this camera, which is, uh, I'll just show you, there we go. This is a uh, Samsung Galaxy S6. Now, obviously, this thing is going to be useful for personal stuff, carrying around. Um, it's not the main camera, but I can't always go around with my main camera. Uh, but it's still quite useful. It's got a good, good camera on it and a good lens. So, without further ado, I'll just chuck this together. Uh, just bear me a second. Okay, so what we've got here is a Canon EOS 70D. It's at the moment sporting a 50mm lens and uh, it's sat on a Manfrotto tripod and it carries with it, the camera that is, a Canon grip which doubles the battery life. Now I've got to admit I went a bit overkill on the uh, battery support because the single battery that goes in it which is an R6 is quite beefy. And by doubling it, I've got quite a long recording time regarding power. The only thing I'm limited with that is the memory on the actual camera. At the moment, the camera is using 64 gigabyte fast um, uh, SD cards. It's got the flip out lens, which is quite useful. I you can see that. Uh, because that means that I can actually see myself when I'm doing the, um, the vlogs. And uh, that can be quite annoying sometimes if you put yourself out of shot, which I keep on doing even with a flip out. But there you are. On top of that, oh. um, I've got my other lenses for the camera, which is a uh, forty mil pancake. It's it's not too bad actually. Uh, I probably um, it's slightly wider than the fifty. Um, it's not as intrusive if you actually. When this is actually installed into the actual uh, camera, it's about this much showing. So it actually looks quite stubby. So that's useful. Sometimes people get kind of a bit put off by seeing a large lens. And something like this next lens, which is an 18 to 200 mil, this is quite intimidating. However, this is very, very useful because I've got very wide shots of this. I mean, you can see this behind me now, this pic these two pictures. If I, if I use that... I'd probably get the third picture, which is over that way somewhere. You can't see it. Um, and been up to 200 mil on the... Uh, um, oh, I can't remember what it's called now. Uh, but you, you get my drift. It's got a bit of distance and it's got really close stuff. So that is quite useful. Uh, as well, I've got this camera. This is a particularly fantastic... <laughs> Um, part of it got cold. Uh, this is um, it's a HD camera, handheld. Um, it's got zoom on it. Um, it doesn't match up to this camera here in front of me that's pointing at me. Not by a long shot. Uh, the lens is no way near the kind of detail. In fact, the lens and video recording capabilities, and this is probably better. But this still is another piece of equipment in my arsenal that could be useful for shots where I've got other cameras in use and I can't use any others. Um, as well as that, camera-wise, and I'll review this later, I've got a GoPro. And this is the basic model, this is just the hero. Uh, I haven't really played around with this yet, so I'm going to find out today what it gets up to. The weather's not looking fantastic. I'd have actually wished it was I wish it was sunnier, but uh yeah, um that seems quite cool. 
Um, and like I said, I'll go through more of that, but it's still useful. This can be used for uh, body mounted shots, head shots, as in point of view. Um, it's it's lightweight and compact, it's waterproof. At the moment it's not because it's got the uh, skeleton back, uh, but it does come with that, which I'm gonna be using this, I've got holidays in a month's time, six weeks. So I'll be taking this with me. Actually, no, five weeks, what am I talking about? I'll be taking this with me. So this is going to see some use, especially because I'm going to a beach. Right, um, tripods. You've seen one tripod, which is the one down there, the one photo. There's also this tripod. Uh, what's a tripod? Mount. Uh, this is a um, just a cheap uh, sucker mount. Put it on a flat surface. Uh, it's got a Joby uh, camera, sorry, mobile phone mount, which is that. So it takes any size phone and clamps it in between. So originally I was going to use this for time lapse stuff um, in my car when I was, say, going on holiday, because I'm driving to Cornwall. Uh, this would look quite cool. However, thinking about it, now that I've got the um, GoPro, that'll get used instead. Might be using this mount. I have actually ordered some add-ons to uh, mount onto this. So uh, yeah, so you got that. Um, <clears throat> another Joby mount. Uh, this is just a lightweight one. For something as small as say the camera, because uh, it can wrap brown stuff. Uh, GoPro again, or even the mobile phone because the Joby attachment could attach to this. So this is a this is quite a useful little gadget. So I'm using one of those. Uh, as well as that, and another one by Joby. This is a DSLR version. Oh, this one's quite tiny. It's like a baby version, like a daddy version. Uh, now this um, this sucker this will be used and is rated up to DSLR. So that camera that you're looking at now can sit on this quite happily. And this is quite useful in situations where I've got terrain or um, a way of mounting a camera where it involves either being hung from above, uh, it's pretty strong, it's quite robust, um, and also if I, I don't want to be carrying around that, that Manfrotto, this is a bit more lightweight and compact, I mean you could literally roll part of it up, so that's that's coming along. Um, funnily enough, if you're out and about, you need some source of power while you're moving, and that's what this is, it's just a splitter. For a cigarette lighter, it's got a one amp and a one amp and a two amp uh, adapter for USB devices, so that covers the uh, that camera, that camera, and that camera. So that's quite cool. Um, go back to the GoPro clip on mount, quite useful, and um, I'll go about this later as well. I've also got one of those. Uh, GoPro, at the moment it's on a cycle helmet, uh, but it will fit a normal head, which is just a sort of maximum extension. And for audio, and um, this is the uh, microphones are a bit of my bugbear at the moment. Um, this is actually quite a good one. This is a, a Zoom. Um, it's, it's probably a bit too close to be there, but it um, effectively acts as a second audio input to the camera. Now, the camera's audio input is fine, but it doesn't really stand up too much when it's outside and you get a bit of wind cut. Wind cut. So, uh, this is better, but I need to get a, um, what they call a muff, because as soon as I go outside with that, it's just going to start doing the same thing again. Um, that's it really for the moment, I think. Um, yeah, I can't think of anything else. Uh, if you've got any advice or tips to anybody out there that already posts videos, give me a, a link down below. Uh, any comments, any, uh, uh, you know, anything. Uh, I will be looking at just doing personal stuff on this channel. However, I'm going to be doing another channel with my band, which is, this is kind of the whole, you know, the workbench and ideas machine for my band videos, and my band, I'm not the main guy in the band, I'm just the bass player, 
and hit Q jokes about bass players. Um, but uh, this next channel will be going alongside of it. I'll be using my techniques game from this for that one. So any advice on recording gigs or recording live sessions with musicians, just give me a comment down below. And uh, thanks very much for watching. All the best and uh, see you soon.